Who will defeat Kishen Thompson in the men's 100 meters in Paris? Will it be Oblique Seville? No. Will it be Noah Lyles? Definitely no. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm just going to talk about Kishen Thompson's performance in the men's 100 meters at the Hungarian Athletics Continental Tour. And I'm also going to give you a few takeaways of that race. But before I provide you that details of the race, I'm just asking you for a few favors. Like the video, share to get my content out there, and also subscribe to the Ability Rare community. All right, let's go. So in the men's 100 meters, Kishen Tamso won in a time of 9.91 seconds. Second place was Let's See Lete Boga from Africa, from Botswana to be precise. He ran a time of 9.99 seconds and Akini came third with a time of 10.01 seconds. So, a few takeaways I have of this race. Number one, we can see clearly Kishen Thompson is trying his best to execute properly. Remember Kishen Thompson came in an interview and he spoke candidly that he is unable he doesn't know to shut down a race properly he is not used to doing rounds with that being said we know that he is not up to par where that is concerned so seeing him execute like this today is definitely a sign of improvement is definitely a sign that is working on his weakness and that, and i think that's very fundamental especially knowing that he's gonna go to the olympics he's he's gonna need to like learn how to handle the rounds and definitely he's gonna need to shut down when it is necessary and evidently today he was doing that oh my god he was so cool and composed he was cool like cucumber <laughs> definitely um oh my god I, I saw him look to his left and he looked to his right and then he went into the line easily with a time of 9.91 as i said before definitely he definitely looks like he has more in the tongue he is he, he's looking more and more confident with each race and he's getting much more race sharp and race fit and i think that's very necessary especially type of year and season that he's having this is important execution um steve francis in my view is a technical sprinter and i love the way oh kitchen terms is going forward with his career so far and definitely his execution is amazing and the coach that is under is definitely the right coach because we have seen what this man has done with at least over the years right um arguably or we can say definitely that he made asafa powell a very technical sprinter asafa powell was very talented when it comes down to this these things and this coach nurtured him to like to make it much more beautiful definitely definitely he's under the right tutelage and i'm really glad for kishen thompson where this is concerned secondly no he has defeated another huge name in the sport and that name is let's see bogo let's see bogo is a silver medalist in the 100 meters right from last year and also a bronze medalist in the 200 meters defeating let's see bogo as giving Kishen Tamso one more point one more point meaning that he is he is getting more confident racing against the, the top profile athletes and that is important and he's getting used to defeating these athletes so when it when the Paris Olympics arrive Kishen Tamso will have confidence racing against no allies coming at this year's Olympics and in fact he has uh, raced against Kishane already and, and a lot of big athletes already he has raced against Coleman, Christian Coleman, Oblique Seville, Akeem Blake, 
all of those athletes. He, have, he has the experience racing against those athletes, but defeating those athletes is definitely building his confidence. And confidence will be key for Kishen Thompson coming to this year's um, Olympics. Remember, Kishen Thompson doesn't have the experience to perform at the Olympics. However, confidence will be the main factor, the main thing that will help him to get the gold medal. If we look back at Bowles' career and Shellian's career, they had little to no experience when it comes to the, the Olympics. But yet still, they still were able to prevail. And I think that the confidence, confidence was the main key, as I said before, that gave them the push and the drive to win the first gold medal for the men's side and the first gold medal for the women's side for the Caribbean, definitely. So confidence is definitely the thing that I'm seeing Kishin is building on and definitely this man is the huge favorite to get the gold medal people definitely he, and I think and I believe that this man will get the gold medal coming to this year's Olympics right now if we look at the times that these athletes are running for the past few years and especially this season we have hardly like c nine sevens like literally these athletes are struggling to go nine sevens during bolt's era we saw a lot of nine sevens asava paul gave us a few justin gatlin gave justin gatlin gave us a few Johan blake gave gave us a few and of course the man the meet the legend usain bolt gave us a lot of nine seven performances however this new kid this new sprinting sensation has gone nine seven seven seconds and he looks like he has more in the tank and and i think that's very scary if i was if i was like rating against this guy especially based on what i'm seeing now but i know no no lies is shaking in his knees because no one lies has never gone sub 980 before and seeing that guy run 9.77 seconds and looks like he has more in the tank definitely no lies is trembling definitely but before i go though i need to touch on the sherika jackson topic right sherika jackson art also participated at the hungarian athletics and to how things seem she got seems like she's slightly injured i hope that it's nothing serious i hope that she um definitely recovers and be ready for the Paris 2024 Olympics because she is really important for Jamaica, definitely. But viewers, think in the comment section about Kishen Thompson. And also, like the video, share to get my content out there. And also, and lastly, subscribe to the Literary Community.